Hey everybody, how are you doing? Today is Thursday, I think. And today I am 11 days post-op flat band removal and I am feeling like a whole new person. Um, so I went to do my follow-up appointment yesterday and I went back to work today. So I think it's been since four days post-op maybe since I did a video. I had planned on doing more videos, but I just really didn't feel like it, just to be honest with you. Um, <clears throat> so here's what the surgeon told me yesterday. I don't remember what he told me the day of my surgery, but this is what he told me yesterday. So what happened to my band? This is what happened. Apparently, the first slip that I had, the band scooted up. Then the second slip that I had, the band scooted way, way, way up. Like, it was already positioned too high to begin with because he could see the old sutures where they had sutured just, he said they only put two small sutures, um, which was not enough. And the old sutures were there. And the band was way up above it, so the um, <clears throat> the first or the last slip that I had before this slip that caused me to have to have it removed, I had so much swelling and stuff that it literally pushed the band completely up. And he said, in the meantime, the band had adhered to my liver and had formed quite a big amount of scar tissue and that when this slip happened the band was pushed up so high that the liver pulled one side of the band down and the other side was went up so instead of the band sitting like this it was sitting like this like if you turn it, I was trying to see, I mean, I'm sure you guys understand what I'm saying, but instead of the band sitting this way, like it's supposed to, it was sitting like this, which is why I couldn't get anything through because the only opening that I had was at the very, very, very top of my esophagus and everything was getting stuck um, on the scar tissue on, you know, from the liver. So, but he did get it out. Um, like I told you before, he did leave an indentation in my stomach, and apparently I completely misunderstood what he told me. He said that that indentation can take up to a year to, to push back out and be okay. You know what I'm saying? It's not dangerous, but it's there. So I could not imagine if I'd had this band longer than I did how bad you know that lasts I mean I, I think the majority of it comes out fairly quickly but it's there for a long 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 time stomach is pretty um, flexible you know and it, it it takes you know what I'm saying so um, <clears throat> he got that out and apparently he said my port was flipped and it was buried in my muscle wall and he said that the reason it was buried was because whoever well the doctor that put my band in I mean I don't want to say whoever because we all know who put it in um, <laughs> but the doctor that put the band in elected without telling me to put in a low profile port and he said that my port was tiny like tiny tiny and he said he had never seen a port that small he said that that sh port should only be in you like if you're like a year out of maintenance like it's a post you know when you go to get your plastic surgery and all that stuff you know when you're getting like your skin removals and all that stuff done he said that's the only time a port that small should be in there and it should only be there for a really small person <clears throat> so my port was just way too little 
and I know this video is just kind of rambly and I'm all over the place. I got a bunch of messages because I went so long without doing an update. Um, but yeah, so that, it was just a combination of things. He said that he was confident in what I was telling him, that it was not a compliance issue, that it was a bad surgery issue. The band was misplaced, the port was the wrong port, and placed too deep, but he said he did get it out without, you know, any damage, you know, that, that no permanent damage, let's just put it that way. So, he got that took care of, and, uh, I do have one really big scar that I'm worried is going to be a bad scar, I'm not real sure, but it doesn't look nice. I'll probably show you, but it, it, it's it's not good. I don't like it. It's the and where he took out the port, it's pretty big. So I think that's going to be a big scar too. Um, how am I eating? I'm eating pretty much normal, other than I guess where I went for so long without eating normal portions. Like I still eat light band portions, and I get full. I just don't feel full for a long amount of time, um, but I'm trying to, well, I am just pushing through the hunger, and I'm not eating because I know I have eaten, and I don't need to eat, because if I had the band, I would be, I would feel full even if, without eating more food, so I just tell myself, no, nope, you don't need more food, you just need to deal with the food you ate, I'm trying to make good choices, um, I did, you know, a lot of people do food funerals be right before they get their lap bands. I think I, I, I have had, like, two food celebrations. Uh, one of them was I made chicken and dumplings, and I did eat it. I didn't eat a lot. I ate, like, half a cup. It was really good, but I could not have eaten that with that band. Um, it would have got stuck. And then my other food celebration was I went to Applebee's, and I got... An oriental chicken salad which I guess that's not a horrible choice other than the dressing but uh, yeah it was way too big it made like three meals for me I ate it I ate on it for three days but I went did go back to work today it was kind of hard sorry I'm moving around a lot it was kind of hard like sitting in one position um, and luckily I've got a really good boss who allowed me um, to get up and move around when I needed to so I didn't have to take pain medication to go to work so that was good um, I made it through the full shift so that was good too it was good to be back to work making money because you gotta have money um, but I am I'm doing good guys you know I don't know what the future holds I've got six months to make a decision on whether I'm gonna progress to another surgery or not I just don't know right now I don't want to um, the thing is and I know a lot of it is residual weight loss but in 10 days I lost 8 pounds and I think that's really good I've really been trying to stay on point and not eat a lot and not eat bad so I'm really trying he did tell me I could start walking again, but he did say that I could not run. He wants me to wait another four to six weeks. Four weeks, he said, would be pushing it. Six weeks would be better to prevent tearing or anything of the internal stitches. So, that's that's kind of where I stand. Uh, I had some people message me about the WLSFA meet and greet. I am going to that. Uh, I'm not... I'm going to where it's going to be, but I'm not going to the actual meet and greet. Not because I have my band took out. Um, it's just because it's really expensive to do. And like I said, my daughter, my daughter's prom and her graduation and everything is it's her senior year. That is all coming up the same week as the WLSFA. Um, then she's got a senior trip, and then she needs, like, a new laptop for college, because my daughter's going to be going to medical school to be a surgeon, 
and the laptop <clears throat> that she needs to run. <clears throat> the programs for the college she's going to is like $1,600. So, yeah, all my money's going to her right now. But I am going to be in Tennessee. I'm going to be with uh, Ginger and me and my husband and Ginger and Bruce. Um, I'm going to be with them. We, we are going to be with them. Um, so I have lots of plans. I'm going to try my best to meet up with everybody that I can because I feel like you guys are family. This has been three years. And I wanted to, somebody had mentioned that in my comments, um, that I was wrong about <clears throat> how long I'd had my band. I was thinking March, and I don't really know why March, but I got to looking back in my calendars, and I had actually had surgery in March, but it was not for my lap band. I actually got my lap band placed June, June the 12th. This coming June would have been three years. So, yeah, that's what the deal was with that. It was just, you know, listen, guys, I've had health problems, and that's one thing, too. Like, I've been really lucky that, I mean, you guys, if you followed my journey at all, you know I had a ton of health problems. The only problem that's really reoccurred is the blood pressure, and that reoccurred before I gained my weight back. So I'm really lucky in that aspect. But I've had this surgery made like 29. I've had 29 surgeries. So it's easy to forget when I've had something done. So anyways, um, but I'm almost out of a core time, so I'm going to go. Hopefully starting next week, I will be able to get on and like do proper videos now that I'm back to work it's kind of gonna kind of be a little bit hard but I did get my camera back out my SD cards and stuff and I'm hoping I will be able to start recording and editing again because I hate doing raw uploads like this and I don't know when you guys will get this video because YouTube is jacked up right now I think the upload times for the video that I was gonna upload before this one <laughs> Um, was like 69 hours. I have no idea when this video will actually make it up, but here you go. I hope it's sometime soon. Um, but yeah, that's it. I gotta go. Uh, I'm doing good. Feel free to message me or inbox me, or if you put something on the comments, it won't go on the page until I approve it. Unfortunately, I had to change my comments over to approved comments only. Um, which this one won't be like that until tomorrow, but I uh, will be definitely getting back up with you guys. My journey is not over by no means. Um, it's just going to be a different kind of journey. And I intend on taking everybody with me so you can follow me and see what happens. Okay, guys, I have to go. Bye-bye.